Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh Shotwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we will see how we can execute Gradle build from Jenkins. Okay, so let's talk about what exactly we are going to cover in this video. We'll in this video we'll mainly configure our Jenkins for Gradle so that whatever task or whatever build we want to do from Jenkins, so at least Jenkins should know from where to pick up the Gradle. Okay, then finally we'll create our Jenkins job and we'll execute whatever our Gradle build we have created so far. So guys, if in this video we need uh, first of all your Jenkins should be up and running. So if you're completely new to Jenkins and don't know how to configure, then I already have a separate tutorials on this where we have discussed how to install Jenkins and uh, how we can integrate with GitHub as well. So if you're completely new, then I would recommend to watch this section. Once you're done, and if you don't have, uh, I would say, uh, Gradle installed in your system, okay? And if you do not have Gradle project, then you have to watch my previous videos where we discussed how to create Gradle project and build, okay? Now, what exactly we are going to do? First of all, we need to set up the Jenkins. So in order to set up first, you have to go to manage Jenkins and scroll down and you need to search for global tool configuration. And here we need to mention all the tools which we are going to use. Okay, so in the previous videos, we have already set the JDK and all right. So here, now you need to come to the Gradle installation part, okay? And similarly, guys, we have done for Maven as well. So if you go and click on Maven, Maven we already set. Now, when you come to Gradle installation, here also you will see we will find two options. Either you can select install automatically option, but I won't recommend because it will keep on installing if any new version and that might not be compatible with your uh, Java version and your project. So what we always recommend, uncheck this box and provide the Gradle underscore home and give the home directory where your Gradle is located. So in our case, my Gradle is located under E drive um, softwares and here you'll find Gradle. Here my Gradle is located. So simply we have mentioned the Gradle home page or the home path. Okay, you don't have to go till Ben. And that's all you need to do from uh, Jenkins configuration. Click on save button and your Jenkins is ready to use Gradle. Now you can directly start a new item and uh, let's say Gradle build Selenium. This is what our job name is. And if you want to give some spaces, that is fine. Click on freestyle project and click on OK. Okay, so you can see here you can give all kind of description and everything. Main our task is we need to go to the build section. Guys, if you are taking from uh, Git GitHub, then you just need to click on this option and rest process, rest of the process is same, which we already discussed in the previous videos. What is our main goal is we need to see how to trigger the Gradle. So if you come to the build section, you will find one option called add build step. And you can see Jenkins supports Ant, Gradle and Maven. So we are telling that go and invoke my Gradle script. So when you click on this option, these options will come like invoke the Gradle script. And if you don't know about any of the option, you will always find a help section guys. Okay, you can just click on this and you will get to know what exactly each fault, like each field stands for. Like I want to check what is this, so I can click on this and I can see it will ask me the list of Gradle tasks that to be invoked. Okay, so first thing you need to tell that don't take the default one, go to the Gradle underscore home which we have done the setting. Then go to the task, task we already know we need clean and test test as we already have defined in our previous uh, gradle project now you are not able to find any other option right like from where to pick my project because jenkins don't know where my project is 
if you do this from git and github then uh, by default jenkins will go where the project is downloaded and it will simply start your test it's very easy when you go with git and github right you just need to tell git uh, github location it will download the code or i will say clone and it will run the task right now i have test or the project in my local system so i will click on advance okay and you can see all these options and just scroll down yeah so guys do not get confused there are two um, levels available okay one is a root build script one is build file so if you have more than one or if you have some kind of parent and uh, child kind of configuration where you also have build.gradle in some other project then you can also define root build file but right now we just have only one gradle build uh, file which is present in some location so in this location like in this particular field you need to provide where your project is located mm, yeah so this is my project is it is somewhere in my e drive selenium content mac gradle selenium so i will just copy paste this path and i will come here and if i don't give the build file okay it will fail it will say please specify the gradle build file which you want to run by default it will not assume okay so we need to tell explicitly that go to my build dot gradle file then only it will pick up and if you click on this option these are some environment variables which you can use like if you give the change id change your so these are predefined environment variables which you can use across your jenkins job anyways we don't need so what we can do we can simply run and this is description we can say this job will run all gradle task and that's all save this and just build this okay so when you if you want to see the execution just click on this and now guys something to notice here okay what it does it simply goes to your uh, gradle home it takes the gradle.file gradle.bat file from the bin folder and it is running two task one is clean test and you can see it is running all the default task and then it will run our test task so whatever task it is running you can see it is also giving you it is executing gradle task and finally it executed our test task and our build is successful okay if you want to run it one more one once once more so just click on build or if you don't want to run just click on rebuild last so it will rebuild your last job okay so whatever test task you have given it will simply execute so it is uh, actually it's very small task it is opening google and it's closing so that's the reason it is going very fast but if you have some other task it will take as it is the normal time and it will execute right so you can see how easy it is to trigger a gradle build from jenkins apart from this if you think uh, you want some more plugins from gradle then if you go to plugins gradle dot org then you have varieties of plugin which you can use okay so all the plugins you will find you will also find the documentation and uh, few is required for our like um, testing but mainly all these plugins are for the development okay you can see this like very recent update right they have just uh, given this like if you want to generate some java doc so these plugin will generate the java doc um and this is for kotlin doc and if you want to generate um some other thing 
and you can see they have also given for Jacoco, right? That is for uh, code coverage. In a similar way, varieties of plugins are available. You can check which plugin is useful for you and you can start using it. All the documentation and everything you will find there. Okay, how to use and everything. Okay, so I hope you understood what exactly we are going to do and it's quite easy. Just set the Gradle home and in the job you need to tell which task you want to run and that's all. It will automatically run. Rest everything is same what we generally do in Jenkins. Like you can, if you want to do post build actions, you can do post build actions and um, you can add into a view, publish some reports and everything will remain same. Okay, so that's all about the Jenkins with Gradle. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So if you still have any doubt, just you can uh, send me an email to my email, which is mokesh at one at the learn hyphen automation dot com. And uh, please share with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.